Hello, class four one and class five one orange groups. Mr. Waterman here with a lesson for both classes today on Friday, April 16th, 2021. Now, for my students in four one and five one orange groups, this is what I would like you to do for this particular lesson. If you're in grade five, class five one, this is your period one lesson. If you are in class four one, grade four, orange group, this is going to be your lesson in period three. I would like both groups to listen very, very carefully. In front of me here, you will see a copy of the student contract for Mr. Waterman's classes. I'm going to go through and read this contract to you. Please listen carefully and please feel free to read along with me. For number one, it says, I have watched Mr. Waterman's video about supplies. Number two, I promise to be a responsible student. Number three, I promise to take care of all of my notebooks and workbooks. Number four, I understand. I will only get one set of notebooks and one set of workbooks. And finally, number five, if I lose my notebooks and workbooks, I will have to use my own notebook or notebook paper. Now you can see in the picture here, this is a picture of all of the different notebooks and workbooks that we will be using this year in my class. You can see the grade four mathematics practice book and homework book. You can also see the grade five mathematics homework book and practice book as well as well as the purple notebook for math classes right now this contract applies to my language arts students as well as my mathematics students i will go over this again in math but for right now in language arts please pay attention to the workbooks you see in the back if you are looking at the workbooks on this side these are the grammar workbooks and spelling workbooks that will be used in grade four, class four one orange. If you are looking over here on this side, this is going to be what is used for spelling and grammar in grade five, class five one orange. If you understand everything that you have read everything that you have listened to me reading, everything you have seen in these pictures. The next thing you're going to do, and this is a very, very important part of your homework, you need to write your name, your first name and your last name, okay? You're going to put your class and your student number as well. Then you're going to put your date, today's date, and then you're going to send this to me. When I receive this, when Mr. Waterman gets it, then I'm going to put my name here and I'm going to put the date. I will have the same date that you have put on your contract. So let's imagine that I am Tejun Lee, which I am, and I have received my contract. Well, I have read everything, and I say I understand. So now, Taejun is going to write his name. I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Move this over some. So, I'm going to write Tay. June Lee and I'm going to write either four one 
4, 5, 1, and then O for orange group. I'm going to write today's date. Today's date is April 16th, 2021. Now, Tajin is finished. The next thing you need to do, I'll move this back up a bit. Uh, there we go. The next thing you will need to do is you will need to take a photo of this contract. Take a photo of the contract and you're going to email the contract to Mr. Waterman. That way, Mr. Waterman can sign and date the contract. Once I have done that, I am going to make a copy of this contract. And I am going to give you a copy of your contract when you come to school next week. If you are in class 41 Orange, you will get a copy of this contract in Monday's class, as that is your first day back. If you are in class 5-1 Orange, you will receive a copy of this contract when you come to school next Friday on the 23rd of April. It is important that all students sign this contract. Read and sign this contract. Please return it to me. If you are in 4-1, you only need to write 4-1. If you are in 5-1, you only need to write 5-1, okay? And one thing I forgot was my student number. I'm going to put my student number on there as well, okay? If I do not get a copy of this contract from you, then when you come into school, you're going to fill out this contract and you're going to read it to me. You're going to sign it and date it and then I'm going to sign it and date it and I will give you a copy. Once you get a copy of this contract, you need to take it home to mom and dad and that way you can keep a copy of the contract at home. I should hear, I don't have a contract, I lost it. Because if you sign it, that means that I signed it. And that means if you have a copy, that means I have a copy. So there's no way you can tell me you don't know where the contract is. You have never seen the contract. You've lost the contract. No excuses. Once you have this in your hands and I have it in my hands, we have an understanding. You take very good care of your things. You don't want to lose anything. With that said, I'm going to move on to the next portion of this lesson, which is going to talk about supplies that you need for my class. I have made a list, as I always do, and this list is called a student list of supplies. Please read along as I go through what you will need for my class. You will need color pencils. You will need a black name pen. You will need glue. You will need your own hand sanitizer. You will need tissues. You will need a clear file. You will need a file folder, if you have one. And finally, you will need masks. Now, I know you all know what these things are. I'm going to leave this list here. I'll go through everything that you need as I have it in my classroom, okay? I will go through these items one by one. Now, Mr. Waterman has his own color pencils. I like to use the 24 pack because the 24 pack, it has colors that I love, such as gold and silver and even magenta. These are colors that I like. If you only want to use 12, that's fine. As long as you have your own color pencils, 
This is very important. Coming to that, with your own color pencils, you should have your own black name pen. I like for you to put your name, class, and student number on everything. So, I'm going to write my name. There's my name, you can see it, nice and big. 4-1 or 5-1, and then I'm going to write O for orange on the bottom. There we go. Please make sure you have your own black name pen. Something like this is perfectly fine, okay? Please make sure you have your own glue stick. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Many of you have these already. If you have to have it for the Korean room, have one for my room as well. You don't need to. If you have one in the Korean room, bring it with you when you come to my class. Bring it in your pencil case, okay? The next item, hand sanitizer. Don't leave home without it. This is my pocket hand sanitizer. I take it everywhere with me. That way I can give myself a quick, easy, if I need to, and I can clean my hands in class. It's very important to have clean hands anyway. It's even more important to have clean hands during the pandemic, during COVID, okay? Tissues, please make sure you bring your own tissues. Why do I want you to bring your own tissues? Well, the box of tissues that I have on my desk, that's for me, Mr. Waterman. In the past, when students wanted to take a tissue, this is what I was seeing. That is wasteful. You only need one tissue, maybe two, depending on how badly your nose is running. When you pull out a lot of tissues out of the box like this, that is wasting money. And tissues are not cheap. Even though they come in a five pack wrapped in plastic, every time I have to buy one of these and spend 300 yen, now keep in mind, I have more than 40 students. So you can do the math. And I teach only grade five math. I teach 80 students in grade four math. I teach 20 students in grade four language arts. I teach 20 students in grade five language arts. If I let the students take this many tissues, each time someone says, Mr. Waterman, may I have a tissue? I'm going to spend all of my money and that is not going to make me happy. That's right. I have to buy my own tissues. Bring yours. Okay? Put that away. The next item that you should be able to bring very easily is a simple clear file. We all know what these clear files are. They're perfectly fine for holding things such as contracts. Okay, any important note, any test that you need to take home and get signed, any general work we will be doing in my class, you need a clear file. Now, going off of that, if you have many papers that you need and you want to keep track of them, have your own file folder. Now, I like the file folder as well as the clear file, but... The file folder, as you can see, it has more pages, okay? You can keep all of your workbooks in your file folder, right? Keep all your workbooks because you will have many workbooks for the stories, for grammar, for spelling as well. Have a file folder. And if it's orange, because you're in orange group, even better. If it's not orange, that's okay. If you like pink, you want a pink file folder, that's fine. 
I love pink. I wear it all the time. Have pink. If your favorite color is blue, get a blue file folder. If you want a green one, go and get a green one. The choice is up to you and your parents, of course. Now, the last item on the list that you need to get here, masks. You will be wearing a mask when you're in this classroom anyway, right? But things happen. Sometimes the mask will break. Sometimes the mask will just get dirty. If it falls on the floor, make sure you have an extra mask with you. I carry at least two extra masks in my bag because I never know what's going to happen. And if I need an extra mask, I have an extra mask to pull out. And there you have it. So, in this lesson, we have gone over two very important things. We have gone over the contract that you will need to print off, sign, date, take a picture of it, send it back to me. If you download it, then you can save it and just send the file back to me, okay? Contracts are very important. The next item that's very important, your student list of supplies. You will find both of these attachments up on my Weebly page. When you go into the school site, just click on it, have a read through, download it, print it off, sign the contract, and make sure you have your supplies. For one orange, I will see you at school on Monday. Looking forward to it. Make sure you have what you need. And if there's any homework that you did not send me, bring it with you. Those of you who have emailed me homework the last few weeks, fantastic job. I've checked everything and I will return it to you on Monday. Okay? If you're in grade five, you have extra time to get all of your supplies together, but I still want those contracts early, 5-1 orange. Okay? Make sure that you get any homework that you haven't done completed and email it to me. That's it. Take care, stay safe, be well, and I will see you all in the next class. Bye-bye for now.